Another remarkable day for investors in Intercept Pharmaceuticals. As we told you last night, this stock nearly quadrupled, surging more than 200 points after positive trial results for its liver drug. Today, the stock added another 62 percent. That works out to $170 a share more, closing at $445. 83 cents a share. Now, the drug maker's market cap has risen from $1.5 billion to nearly $9 billion in just two days. So what's so hot about Intercept? It has no products on the market. It doesn't make money. It has just 45 employees. Joining us now to talk more about this phenom is Jonathan Eckert. He's a biotechnology analyst at Citi. Jonathan, welcome. This is a fascinating story, and I want to get into it in the time we've got. But I want to start by just asking a dumb question. How can something like this happen? <laughs> it's, it's a really unique situation. So this trial that read out this week really was not expected to be positive at all. This setting of liver fibrosis is one that has had failures for years and years and so there, everybody was really just ignoring this opportunity. And this is just, you know, so the outcome was just shocking. And given that neglection of paying attention to this trial, people were neglecting the opportunity that is available here. I mean, this is a very, very large market. We're talking the size of the lipid market or for uh, lipid lowering, like Lipitor and Crestor. I mean, this is a tens of billions of dollar market. So. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it was just uh, people were just not paying attention because of the lack of successes in the past. All right, but, you know, as, as uh, Tyler just said, it, it has this only one product, and this product really isn't a product yet. It still has to go through clinical trials, and I'm guessing that's going to take a couple of years. So what happens to this company in the meantime, and what does it mean for investors? Well, the uh, regulatory path from this stage is unclear. Um, this trial, we haven't even seen the details of the data. The, uh, the, you know, so we'll have to find out what the additional paths are taken. However, the results that we saw, at least the initial findings, seem to be pretty robust. So I think that the, the risk that additional trials, if needed, would be negative are probably fairly low. Um, so that is more of a timing issue versus a, is it actually going to get to the market? Mm -hmm. um, so the bigger question is, how big is this opportunity? And even uh, it's very frequent that drugs not on the market yet that have shown great potential. You say mm -hmm. millions of people, potentially billions of dollars in revenue, a drug on the scale of the Lipitor and the other statins. Is this a company that is going to be bought out by one of the major drug companies? Uh, it, it would arguably say that this is an, an opportunity that large pharma and biotech would be very interested in having. It would, uh, it, so it makes a lot of sense that this would be a takeout uh, takeout candidate for sure. Um, you know, so we have to wait and see. I mean, as you noted in the past, uh, there's only tw 40, 25 employees. So, uh, you know, obviously they're going to have to scale up and really ante up if they're going to market a drug this size. Um, right. But realistically, this is something that probably ends up better, better in the hands of large pharma. Jonathan, thank you very much for helping us through it uh, tonight. Jonathan Eckert, biotechnology analyst at Citi.